Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Joel Madden, and this is Artist Friendly. On this episode, I'm talking to singer-songwriter and Grammy-winning recording artist Tori Kelly. Her new album, Tori, is out now, and her tour starts on April 12th. Let's go. That's my kind. I don't want no bad times. I don't want to have bad Can we start with where you're at or where you where you started? Oh, I, gosh. Yeah, those are two very different different things. I guess where where I'm at is yeah. probably a cool place to start. Um, Cuz I feel like I'm in a really good place, which is fun. I feel like so I have an album coming out called Tori. It is called Tori all caps with all a period. Caps. Yeah. The period's important. It's a statement. I and I actually feel like that kind of symbolizes where I'm at, which is just kind of taking ownership of my artistry and having a lot more fun. Not that I didn't have fun before, but I think I was a little more um, serious in my music. And I think I'll always have that, but I'm in a phase now where it's like, okay, I've kind of shown all these sides, but there's still a lot of sides that I haven't shown actually. The the performer side of me, the um, just even like the overall aesthetic Um, I didn't usually pay attention to like Mm -hmm. visuals and stuff. I was Mm kind of just like, I'm a singer and I'm just about the music and everything else you guys can figure out. And I think with this chapter stepping into my thirties now, having kind of done it for a while now, I'm like, wait, I can just have fun now. Yeah. Um, do you think that you limited yourself there because I feel like experience in this business, we don't realize how multi-talented and multifaceted we are Mm -hmm. and i feel like your age is when i actually started thinking that way too Mm -hmm. like right when i was like turned 30. yeah 30 31 i started going like wait a minute i actually know how to do that yeah and i always wonder why i limited myself in my 20s like i confined myself to certain boxes because i just went no i don't really do that and then you kind of go why did i feel why did i limit myself that way and i don't really know why yeah, that that is interesting because I think for me at least it felt like I had been grinding like all my life as a kid, just kind of trying to make it, doing my thing. And then there was a video that went viral. Um, it was a cover that I did with a friend of mine who's so like it's a really talented beatboxer and it's me playing guitar, her beatboxing to Frank Ocean cover Mm -hmm. called Thinking About You. And that was like my first taste of like a viral moment. I was like, what is going on? And so, but up until that point, I was already like in and out of the industry. I was signed when I was 12. So that was just like a fun thing. I was like, oh, what's this YouTube thing? Let me start, you know, messing around with it. So when that blew up, also I had just dyed my hair blonde when Mm. that blew up. Brown is my natural hair color. So I'm just like, I'm like 19. I'm having fun with my hair or whatever. I just picked up guitar. And so people sort of, this is just my take on it. I think what Mm -hmm. happened is people saw that image and was like, okay, girl with her guitar, blonde hair. Wow. And that was kind of, I think that was a lot of people's first um, look at me and, and first time they maybe heard me. And so without me realizing I think I subconsciously was just like, oh, I need to, uh, like, I shouldn't change my hair then. I should stay this. Or, oh, people like seeing me with the guitar. Okay, cool. And I and that is very much me. Like, I, it wasn't like I was playing a character or anything, but yeah. it I just sort of ran with it because it was working. And so then fast forward all these years later when I'm like, oh, wait, like, I like to dance too. Or I like to, you know, do this style of music too. And I just sort of forgot about it. And then I dye my hair back to my natural color and people are like, whoa, what's happening? Like they think it's, you know, this big change, but, and I didn't think that would happen, but then now it makes sense. I'm like, oh, it's because you guys thought you knew who I was. And that is definitely a big part of who I am. But now I'm really excited to show all these different sides that have always been there, but I just haven't had really the type of music to kind of let it out. What I take away uh, from it is this moment of, your talent captured in this organic place, which mm. I always think is the best mm. way. Yeah. Is this real moment where you are doing something you love yeah. with someone you like 
expressing yourself as an artist, you hear a song and go, oh, I'd love to sing that my way. And you do it your way. Yeah. You put your artistic spin on it. And people see something that is otherwise kind of amazing. It looks like a magic trick when someone can pick up the guitar and sing a song and it mm -hmm. sounds good. That's like a magic trick to most people because <laughs> most people can't do it. Mm. But it's just a fact. Why people love that moment is that. Yeah. But the world we live in says, oh, it's your hair and your clothes and the way you guys did this. And they try to yeah. work out why it feels magical. Yeah. Doesn't mean the hair doesn't matter or what you're wearing doesn't matter. It does because it's a part of your expression. Mm. But like, I feel like a lot of times in music, people try to recapture the thing we did yeah, yeah. when we were just doing it. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, no, no, I'm onto this now. I want to do this. Right, right. And what we have to learn as artists that I didn't get again, like till I was probably 30 was, mm. Oh, the part about me that is special is me being myself, doing what I love that part. and expressing yeah. myself. 100%. And everybody else is trying to work out the kitsch. They're yeah. trying to work out the thing. Yeah. And you're like, no, no, it's, yeah, look, we look like that. Yeah. But we were just <laughs> expressing ourselves. Right. We can't redo that, that at that yeah. time. And, yeah. and that's where I think you start getting pulled off the path slowly you know, some artists get pulled way off. Everybody mm -hmm. has their version of that though, mm -hmm. where they were like trying to recapture a magic that you can only get by expressing yourself and being yourself yeah. and like having the joy of the thing you do. Right. Right. This God given talent that you can't explain why you have it, but mm -hmm. you feel the, you feel compelled to sing and to express yourself. Yeah. And that's like the good part of it that I think we all relate to when we see it happening but we then try to work it out. Why was that a success? Totally. You're like, the whole industry tries to figure yeah. that out. Yeah. Like, and then do they that, start telling you what you should do. And you're like, <laughs> no, I think I should just lean into how I feel. Right. And then right. you start to do that more and more. And then that's what I learned in my thirties was like leaning into how I feel mm. and going like, I don't know. I have, I think something's there. I'm going to just explore it. I'm going to yeah. figure it out. And then you keep leaning in and then you start down this path of like, what I really think is total joy. The challenges are real, but they're, but you feel inspired mm. to work and figure it out. Yeah. Versus how do we have another hit? Oh, oh okay. gosh. I guess we have to dress yeah. this way and do this. And then maybe we'll get that guy to do this. And, the, and then you start trying to formulate hits. My heart rate is going up hearing you talk about this. You know? I, yeah, totally. It's like, it's so, it's exhausting. And and any, I think anyone can fall into that though too. When something Everyone. works, it's like, okay, like how do we get that again? And it's just, yeah, it's just so, it's so Because no tough. one said, hey kid, you're fucking special. Mm -hmm. Just block all the bullshit out mm -hmm. and just do what you want. And I think you'll do it again. <laughs> and it might be in a different way or it might yeah. be, but like, yeah. That's to me like art versus the commerce. Yeah. Commerce has to be there for our jobs because this is the job. But I think we put the art first. Mm. And then once we get that right and we feel good about it, then we figure out how we market it, how we take it out to the world. Yeah. And that that can be fun too, actually. Yeah. Uh, there's got to be room for it to be different though every time, I think. Totally. Yeah, because then it's like if you do the same thing yeah. over and over, it's not. It's not fun anymore. <laughs> yeah. But when you're young, you also feel all this pressure to try and make everyone happy. Yeah. They must be experts because they worked with so-and-so mm -hmm. and so-and-so. Mm -hmm. And who am I? Yeah. You know, like that's how you yeah, feel yeah. when you're 19. Totally. Like, what do I know? Yeah. I'm not that special. I think I'm special enough to sing and yeah. do the YouTube video. Yeah. And then have millions, a hundred million people watch it and go, that's good. Yeah but maybe I'm not special enough. That part to me is where artists get off because mm. now you're special. Now you just got to keep doubling down on like how you feel and what you want to say and mm -hmm. let it feel natural, I mm -hmm. think. Yeah, I, I think just thinking of how the way my career has kind of panned out, the thing I am grateful for is that it does feel like I, I never was like this overnight success yeah. story, which looking back, back I'm I'm really grateful for that it's like I had to put in the work it was a very it still feels kind of like this slow grind yeah. like this you know I'm I have this like core fan base that's incredible that have just continued to rock with me so it I'm really grateful that it, it wasn't this like 
you know, one huge ginormous hit and then I'm just like on this roller coaster and, you know, don't know what to do and then have to figure out what to do after. It's like, that is what I'm grateful for. When I look back, I'm like, okay. And in a lot of ways, this has just kind of been like baby steps and, yeah. and one yeah. brick at a time. Yeah. 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 Which is cool. And I'm, I'm just like grateful that I still get to do it. You know, if you think about like Tori Kelly, you don't think like one song. I've I think you think that, more yeah. of like a, I think more musically, I think big voice, musically talented, uh, real musician, you know, things like that versus like, oh, yeah. that song, remember that song. Yeah, yeah. Thank you though. Yeah. Cause yeah, it's like you spend, yeah, you spend all this time trying to figure out what that hit is yeah. for you. And, you know, and I, and who knows, it's like, I think that would be awesome if that does happen. Like that would be amazing, obviously. Um, and I even think with this new music, there was a sense of kind of like surrendering almost to whatever that hit thing is because mm. i think for a lot of my career i was like oh, i don't want to do what everyone else is doing i want to just like you know be in the corner and like do my own thing um and and i didn't want to chase that sound and i think there's this sense of security that has come over me like I said, stepping into my 30s, I think there was basically what I told uh, my executive producer, who was John Bellion. I don't know if you guys yeah, have, yeah. have met. He's yeah. incredible. Incredible. Um, so really well known as like a songwriter, um, mm -hmm. but also incredible artist. And what a lot of people don't know is he's an amazing producer as well. Yeah. So he's he did my whole album. And I literally walked into the studio and was just like, I want big songs that I can belt out in the car. And I had never said that before. I think in the past I would have been like, I wanna make sure like I relate to every single lyric, which I do still on this album. But I think the the priority used to be, you know, just like really deep and um, a little left field sonically and just like more, I don't even know explain what my sound even was, but maybe more on the singer songwriter side of things, like soulful. Yeah, but you can out sing so many of those singer songwriters, and I love all. Of, oh. I I love singers. I love <laughs> yeah. singer songwriter. Same, same. I yeah. love the, I the love genre of yeah. like singer songwriter. Yeah, yeah. There's something about the craft of the song, and and it's usually less about the vocal. The vocal's mm -hmm. more honest, and there's something mm -hmm. super kind of authentic and imperfect about it. Yeah. With a lot of great singer songwriters, but the songwriting is like unique and special, yeah. and you can out sing a lot of people. You have a real thank you. <laughs> you have one of those voices and you should flex yeah. that. Yeah, it's I like flexing. It's fun. I, I love singing. It. I would just flex it. <laughs> but I'd be at karaoke once a week. <laughs> flexing my That's voice. That's the thing though. When I do karaoke, I'm like not even singing real. I'm just doing like impressions the whole time. I'm yeah, being so silly. Good. But <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's, that's the thing though, is I think, like you said, I've always kind of been known as this voice, but genre wise, I've, I've kind of been all over the place, which has been, I used to think was a bad thing. I was like, oh, I got to stick with one thing. I got to, you know, make sure I have a brand and <sighs> let people put me in whatever box makes sense. And so I really struggled that starting out. And now I'm like, that's actually really cool awesome that I've been able to have a career where you, you know, I've been able to do all these amazing genres and really pour myself into them. And I know I keep tying it back to now, but it really does feel like this album is like a full circle, kind of everything I love. This is me in an album. This is where I'm at right now. Um, and also like I talked with, with John about this was like, okay, if people know me as a singer, but you don't, you know, you don't, can't really pinpoint a song necessarily, let's really dive into like, what is my sound? Like, let's really play and explore and have fun. And we almost made these like little, it was almost like I was being characters on different songs, but they were all different sides of me that were coming out. Sometimes I was like, ooh, I don't know if I wanna show that side, but I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna show that side cause that's real and I haven't showed that yet. And I'm probably just scared that people, it's gonna clash with people's perception of me. of me, exactly. So it was this empowering process to let all those things out. And I'm, I'm really proud of it. I'm, I'm excited about it.